So the, I thought the idea of being able to target a disease very specifically um, with gene therapy and then to be able to grow that person's own cell using the regenerative capacity of the liver, that to me was fascinating and I think I was hooked on it very early. There's two basic parts to this. First, you've got the uh, efficacy. Can your gene therapy approach actually uh, treat and cure the disease like you think it can. The second part is the safety and that's the part where the FDA and other regulatory type bodies will be interested in seeing the data from. This research grant really in large part is directed towards the safety and the toxicology component of our gene therapy. So this is what we believe is the final piece of information related to an FDA approved trial so that we can begin this therapy in patients. Last year we committed ourselves to using uh, an in vivo gene therapy approach where you bypass the need for surgery to take out some of the cells and directly deliver the gene delivery construct to the liver. And what we found is not only could we do that and we could do it safely, but we could cure the disease in about half the time, meaning that there was less injury to the liver while the liver was going, undergoing that selection process. If the disease gets far enough or irreversible, I can't change that. But if we can treat the disease early enough in the patient's life or even as a fetus, they never have any of those other complications related to the disease. So those findings will be published this year. We actually have those manuscripts in submission. This is uh, a very unique project uh, that people have been working on for uh, decades to solve and we believe that we are at the point where we have solved the problem being able to grow human hepatocytes or to be able to target um, a large number of liver cells um, for, uh, for uh, gene therapy or even gene editing and then growing that correct cell so that you could use that cell to treat anybody's inborn arrow metabolism of the liver. Using the grant from Regenerative Medicine Minnesota, uh, we will take our data and approach the FDA in a preclinical trial uh, fashion so that we can open up our first IND uh, to treat in vivo uh, inborn errors of metabolism in the liver, first specifically with tyrosinemia.